Hey there, friends. I hope you're doing great. Today, let me share three variables, built-in variables, that maybe you're not using and you should. Let's check it out. So let's just preview quickly. This is my mock-up course or just like a presentation. We have a like a menu thing on top and a bunch of pictures of Slovenia. Okay, so what can we do now? We have a custom player, so we want to take advantage of the variables that are available. So let's go to Slide Master. Here's my menu in the layer called, called, called Player. And we want to enable full screen mode. Now we're not using any buttons, so we can't press the buttons from the player, but we can take advantage of the variable. So we're gonna create a new trigger. We're gonna say adjust variable. And the variable is full screen mode. Yes, this is accept ac accessible and we can toggle it. So it goes to full screen. When you click again, it goes back out of full screen. So it's, a tr it's just a true false variable. When user clicks our icon too. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we cannot preview this here because it's not possible inside Storyline Preview. However, when you export to, to web, to your core, to, to your LMS, it's fine. Okay, the next one, subtitles. We can enable captions right from the variable. So we're gonna use this icon here and let's just say adjust variable captions and we can again toggle, the, toggle it so it's on and off. And currently we're just keeping this simple. We're not setting any states in these buttons and so on. So we're focusing on variables now. When user clicks icon one. Okay, we can quickly take a look. I'll enable this sound here on the first slide. Just lorem ipsum. And when I click, it's enabled. Okay, enough of this gibberish. So that's a simple way that you can enable captions. Very useful, very useful. And now the grand finale, I think uh, something that can be captured from these variables is the progress of the user. And you can take those numbers and apply it graphically. So here I created a slider. It's a bit uh, different slider one might say. Let's just zoom out so you have a better look. So here's the slider, it's huge. Um, and I changed the thumb of the slider to this PNG I created. It's 800 by 25. And if we go under format shape, you just go under pictures and replace your thumb with whatever you want to create. So you, this is the way you can create a much nice, nicer slider because these built-in ones are not the best, not the best, not the best, nothing to brag about. Okay, so here's the slider and it's a bit tricky to create it. So it's just, it actually starts outside of the slide and then when you slide it in it goes inside the slide so you want it you want it to be in the position where zero is where where position zero is basically here initial number and then 100 at the end so we want to take advantage of the percentages of the progress of the user uh, so you just have to resize it a bit, a bit up, down, left, right, uh, to get the perfect position. And because it's a bit tall here, I just put it, you know, a bit up. So we have just a small, a few pixel line on top to show the progress. Now, unfortunately, although these built-in variables are there and ready to go, you cannot just select it here from the top down. So uh, articulate folks, get, get on this. We need variables here. Uh, so you have to do this manually. So what I'm going to do is adjust variable, slider one to variable. And now here I can select it, slide numbers, and we're going to say progress through menu. So just keep in mind, this is progress. This is not current position. 
So this is progress. How much has user progressed? Which means if we jump around, this progress will not change if we go back to the previous viewed slides. So again, this is not position in the course. This is progress. Posi position in the course, you would have to do something else with these uh, variables. When slider moves, now when timeline starts, this layer, no, no, nothing else. So adjust variable slider one to variable menu progress. When timeline starts this layer, this is gonna happen every time we load our, our layer here, which means on every slide. So let's just preview everything and see how this progress thing looks. Okay, so it's here. We have about seven, eight slides, so that's that's like 12% in percentages. And when I continue through the course, it fills up automatically, which is fantastic. And we can we can also let just select three more and duplicate, and three more and duplicate. So we have 13 slides now, and we can see how this this progress adjusts it's smaller yeah I see I'm missing some buttons here just ignore that and there we go zero work you can change the number of slides this will be automatically adjusted now I know you're wondering but Nate, what about the position in the course I don't need progress I want position in the course okay I got you I hear you here's what you do you take the number of total slides which is 13 in our example here we go to master slide to our player and now here we should change this to menu uh, slide number now this is an absolute number this is not percentage which means we need to change how our slider functions so we should say initial one and 13 and it goes step it goes by step one and slider one is equals to menu slider number so it goes from one to 13 because we have 13 slides and this should, this should now also change if we go back through the course okay let me preview So I'm going forward. I'll just go through to the end. Okay, and now we can go back and you can see it actually changes because this is now slide number, not the progress. That's it. I think the last one is very, you know, more advanced. It can be used in different designs. You could you wrap this uh, this progress inside a mask. So it's you have a nice round corners or something, put it in a bar or similar. You can play around with this. Uh, it, it could be in different positions. You could actually fill in dots if you would have holes in a PNG, for example. So many different options here. Here we go. I hope you'll take advantage of the built-in variables and uh, enjoy. Until next time.